Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where the time, the total time is given, is given by us evaluating this integral. So we will need to evaluate it from x equals 0 to x equals a pi. And remember the parametric equations for the cycloid is given by this. So if you look at this, we need to evaluate this. But in, in order for us to evaluate this, we need to, um, we need to find dy by dx. But the thing is, when we're working with parametric equations, everything is given in terms of time, in terms of t. So x is in terms of t, y is in terms of t. So to work out dy by dx, to work out dy by dx, we will need so so dy by dx. To work out dy by dx, we will need to work out dy by dt because y is given in terms of t. And then uh, and then to work out dy by dx, we need to get dy by dt divided by dx by dt so because x is all in terms of t so uh, so we need to so dy by dx is given by this now if you don't understand this then track back to one of the earlier videos in order for you to work out dy by dx you will need to get dy by dt divided by dx by dt well anyway we need to evaluate this here but, but we've been given these parametric equations so uh, so to work out this dy by dx, we will need to differentiate the x with respect to t. So dx by dt is given by this. And then uh, and then you can times this by dt here. So that would then give you that would then give you this. That would then give you this. Because so 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 from here, from here, differentiate it, that would then give you dy, sorry, that would then give you dx by dt. So we've got this here. But then from this, you can also obtain this. And we will need this later on because we will need to put this whole thing here into the dx here. We will need to, to replace the, the dx here. But, uh, but we will need this in order to work out dy by d, dx because we need dy by dx here in, or, in order to evaluate this. So hang on. So from here, the uh, differentiator, that will give you um, dx by dt. From here, you can obtain this for, for free, because later on we will need to put this into here. And then, uh, and then, in order for us to work out dy by dx, we will need to work out dy by dt. So we will need to work out dy by dt. So from here, differentiate this. So from from here, differentiate this. That will then give you dy by dt, which happens to be this. So, so d, remember, dy by dx is given by dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So now if you look at this, hang on. If you look at this, um, the dy by dx is given by, by dy by dt. Well, dy by dt is this. So we can put this into here. And that, sorry, we can put, we can put this into here, which is this bit here. And then divide, divide. And then, uh, the, the, the x by dt is given by this, so we can put this into here, which will then give us this. Well, anyway, dy by dx is given by this, um, and then uh, and then uh, tidy this up. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then we remember back. So so now we've got dy by dx. So if you look back at the original formula, we've got dy by dx, but then we need dy by dx squared. We need this squared. So going back to here, we've got dy by dx. Now, but, but the thing is, we need dy by dx squared. So we need to square this. So squaring it will then give you this. Okay, and, and then now, now remember, remember 1 equals sine squared t plus cos squared t. So, uh, so, uh, so, so this thing here is really, well, take away this. That will then give you this. So sine sine squared of t is given by this. Now this we then cancel out with this. Sorry, not yet, not yet. Sorry. Um, so so once once you get to this stage here, remember, eas easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between. Then you can you can uh, jump to plus minus. Okay. So so keep an eye out for something. Easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between, you can jump to this. So now this can then cancel out with this. So this thing here will then give you, will then give you this. 
So now we've got dy by dx squared. We can put it back into the original formula. So that would then give us this. Okay, so so this this thing here is really is really dy by dx squared. Okay, and then uh, uh, and then we 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 would need to evaluate the limits here because earlier we were integrating with respect to uh, to to x. So we would we were integrating from x. We were integrating from x equals uh, zero to x equals um, a pi. But now we've changed it to uh, to dt. So um, yeah, I, I will continue in the next video. We are now currently at this stage here, so we can put this into here. Okay, I, I will continue in the next video.